What's up guys, it's Kevin. So for the past few weeks, um, we've had to change our lifestyle like in such a wide variety of ways due to COVID-19 or uh, whatever name they've changed it to. I think it's like something like SARS-CoV-2 or something like that. So we've had to really alter our lifestyle, alter how we go throughout our day-to-day. -day. Um, and there's one enormous question. One, one question that so many people have on their minds. How do I stay fashionable during this quarantine? You know, a, a lot of scholars very, very much so ponder this idea. If you have a sick fit and nobody can see it, is it even a sick fit? So as your government registered fitizen, I'm here to talk to you guys about how you can stay fashionable during this quarantine. Number one, post on Instagram how much your social distancing and all of your fits, even though internally you're dying to go outside and you would rather die than to miss a fit. So get dressed up, put on your finest garments, post a fit about how much you enjoy staying in loungewear or how productive you're being. Gotta make sure that your followers know that you're living up to the jound, ameling your ikru, mood board, inspo, minimalist, aesthetic lifestyle. You could even honestly make a mood board. But deadass, I would suggest maybe just checking out Instagram every so often, just so that like you can kind of like put together maybe a few things that um, personally inspire you. Um, I will leave a link to a few of my favorite Instagram pages down below. I'll try and include some smaller pages uh, just to give them a shout out because I'm sure you guys already know like a variety of like mood boards and pages and people um, that are already super big in like this community or um, the clothing uh, that I like. Listen slash watch something new, whether it be um, new albums that I've been releasing or uh, movies that you've been wanting to get to so that you can sort of up yourselves. And then there's a lot of sort of outfit and um, inspiration that you can take from these costume designers because a lot of them have such sick fits that like you can sort of take inspiration from them. Uh, I will also leave a description or a link in the description to a handful of my favorite um, kind of songs, albums, as well as a handful of like movies that I really enjoyed, um, as well as like something that I can take inspo from. Not necessarily only clothing, but maybe even architecture or maybe just the vibe, you know. We be vibing out here. Number three, you can fucking Marie Kondo your entire fucking life. Friends you don't talk to, fucking kill them. Clothing that you don't like, Put them in a bag and donate them. Uh, family members you don't talk to. Get rid of them. I have a bunch of friends that have essentially like rearranged a variety of furniture. They've like pretty much flipped their house upside down. You can do that as well. Maybe also get rid of like some stuff that you personally don't find joy in. Um, as well as, again, you can minimize your closet, you can minimize your living space because you are going to be quarantined for a little bit. Um, for those of us that are lucky to be living at home, uh, as well as those people that do go to work, bless your souls, stay healthy, um, stay safe. Um, I would say try and just get rid of all of the excess because we're not going to be spending too much time outside within the next couple months. So I would suggest sort of... Um, cleaning up your living space and only having things that you truly enjoy because you are going to be spending a decent amount of time at home. So like use this time to take photos of items that you're probably going to be selling off and on those items that you aren't going to be selling just bag them up, get ready for them to be donated because a lot of people are going to be out of work etc. So I believe Goodwill even has like an online store so you can potentially drop it off at a location or something like that or a Salvation Army. Uh, places like that. I know there are a few drop-off points that are open. I don't believe any retail stores are open here in California. You can also go through um, your grilled closets um, or your eBay watch lists and stuff like that so you can clear out things that 
you just decided a favorite but never unfavorite. I know my closet, my grail, like closets or favorites list, that shit is a huge fucking mess. So I'm probably gonna have to go through that and kind of cleaning that up as well. I've also been going through like my emails and kind of clearing out a variety of junk email and newsletter email and unsubscribing so you can Marie Kondo even digitally as well and clean up like your computer files and uh, your digital, I guess, media. Develop a skill. Um, I feel like as I progress, it's getting less and less sarcastic and more real. This is something that I truly do think that maybe it would be worth focusing on. You know, I do know that like we live in a society uh, that likes to prioritize like productivity and not really prioritize, I guess, like self-care, mental health, etc. But I do believe developing a skill isn't necessarily that like you want something out of it, I guess. It's, it's something good to like craft something yourself. So whether that be developing a skill in um, sewing, sketching, something more artistic in that nature, or maybe um, starting like a journal, like a sleep journal or like a day-to-day -day journal and developing sort of like a skill into a habit that you will carry on throughout um, kind of like your life, even after this quarantine ends. Um, like something that I've been working on is I've been trying to become a bit more fluent in Korean. Uh, so I can speak Korean relatively fluently, um, but my reading and writing is absolute garbage. Uh, so I've been trying to work on that so that I can at least communicate with um, people of my culture, um, of my nationality, or I guess mother, motherland. Um, a bit more um, on an intimate level. Um, I can speak Korean. Um, 안녕하세요. 지금 한국말 하는 거 처음이 같아요. 여기 서브타이틀 여기 써져 있는 거 너무 웃길 것 같아. 이렇게 오 한국말 할수 있네. 아 진짜 um, 한국말 해온 분들 너무 반가워요. 아, 아니 뭐 솔직하게. 너, 너무 사랑해요. 여기 또 미국에서 한국말 하는 분들도 한국에서 음, 팬 서포트 서포트? 한국에서 진짜 이렇게 나한테 서포트하고 또 문자도 많이 보내주고 너무 너무 사랑해요. So hopefully that wasn't a bit too weird. Um, I wasn't really sure what to say. Like I just had planned speak Korean on like my plan. So there we go. And last but not least, make something. So whether that be, so it's sort of tied into like that habit-based thing or learn something type of thing where like make something is like kind of crafting something that is of your own. Whether that be um, maybe crafting, kind of like I touched upon earlier, like a mood board, um, not necessarily for anybody else or to get attention, but like something for your own records, um, like something that inspires you. That's primarily what a mood board is used for. Um, as well as you can make something, whether it be uh, you can start writing, you can start writing um, potentially a creative project, whether that be screenplays, whether that be a book that you've always wanted to like kind of write about, um, as well as you could even make a YouTube video. You know, that's, that's essentially how I started my channel. Um, I just wanted to make something, put it out there. Um, it was a bit cringy, it was literally just like, an Adidas Ultra Boost unboxing, uh, absolutely terrible editing, uh, terrible lighting, um, but I was proud of it and I just put it out there in the world and you know, um, like nobody makes amazing content straight out the gate, you know, I'm still on my journey as well, but I think just the act of putting something out there, and making something and like video editing it, I think I made that on like Microsoft Movie Maker or something like that, so it's like just putting it out there and making something, crafting something and developing it. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I will talk to you guys later. Stay healthy, stay safe. Peace.